Welcome to another edition of Five Minutes with Joe. This is the Santa Maria Barbecue Edition. Today we're going to show you how to cook a Santa Maria Tri-Tip Barbecue. We're going to serve it with some paquito beans and a nice relish. And we're also going to take a trip to Santa Maria to see what that looks like while we're at it. Tri-Tip is probably a, not a very well-known piece of meat. Uh, actually, it comes from the bottom round. And it was popular, it's popular in California, but mostly it was ground up for ground beef. But here now, it's actually pretty popular, especially in places like Central Coast of California. Uh, and you can see why it's called the tri-tip. It actually comes from the, next to the bottom sirloin. And it's, you can see the sinew coming this way, the grain going this way. And that is uh, a great piece of meat for barbecue or roast. And actually what we're gonna do with it is a combination of the two. We're gonna rub it up with a seasoning here and we're gonna actually, we're gonna uh, sear it off over some high heat uh, with a little smoke and then we're gonna go indirect and finish it up from there. Okay, we're gonna season our, our tri-tip with the traditional seasonings that they use in Santa Maria, which is basically kosher salt, granulated garlic, and of course uh, black pepper. And real simple, we just sprinkle it on, we'll rub it into the, the meat, liberal amounts, carefully measured as I always like to say, and the black pepper. A nice thing about doing it on a cutting board actually too is the stuff when it spills over, you just turn it over and you can pack it in that way on that side too. And we're gonna let it sit at room, we're gonna let it sit for about an hour um, before we actually put it on the, the barbecue so this seasoning gets in there. Uh, you go, like I say, you rub it kind of nice and you got a little extra here on the board. You can just put the meat up and push that into the meat so you get all that really nice flavor. And like I said, okay, we're going to let this rest for a little bit before we put it on the barbecue, but then we're going to take it outside and we're going to sear it over a high heat. Then we're going to move it over indirect and finish roasting it uh, with the top on the kettle with a little bit of smoke in there to give it that nice smoky flavor. Okay, we're using, uh, I'm using some oak chips in here. Uh, traditionally, Santa Maria barbecue is cooked with uh, red oak chips that are found all up and down the central coast of California. Uh, I'm just using some chips on top of my charcoal briquettes here so I can get that good smoke. But what I want to do is I want to get a nice sear on both sides. That really adds to our flavor. Uh, and then I'm going to move it across to the other side, cover it, and that's going to finish up the cooking. So let's see what we got here. We've got a nice little flame coming. We've got some smoke coming from those wood chips and it's gonna give it a really nice flavor.
have it. It's a beautiful meal. Here's our tri-tip that we roasted out on the barbecue. Here's the paquito beans that you can only get in Santa Maria. A beautiful fresh tomato salsa and nice grilled French bread. It's a fabulous meal. Thanks very much for joining us here on another 5 Minutes with Joe. And we'll see you next time. Whoa.